workshop. What I want to look at is this up here. It's called material channel. So by default, we can actually add a material into any of our subtools. So I have two subtools here. I have eyes and I have the dinosaur body. So what I can do is I can actually say apply a material to this. Now at the moment, because no materials have been applied to this model, I can jump between all of these materials. So I can come into here and change it to this. I could put it into gold. But if I actually want to set some material for a model, I can do that easily. So I'm going to put this back into Mad Cat Wax and we're going to make the eye the active channel. So I'm going to put it on here. So you can see that the eye at the moment is just in this Mad Cat Wax and just like everything else you can change the um, colors of these, the materials of these, um, but I can actually fill it with a material. So I can fill it with one of these materials. So what I'm going to pick for this one is going to be an eye. So I'm going to pick like a, a toy plastic here. So notice the toy plastic kind of like captures these little highlights inside here. You can see that inside there. And at the moment, if I turn on the dinosaur, it will be in this plastic as well because you've selected it here. But watch what happens if I just fill the eyes with this toy plastic color. Remember, I'm on the eye active tool and I have the material toy plastic selected in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with the material. So I'm going to go across to what's called the material channel. OK, and that's what I need to do. This is color channel. This is material channel. And this here is material and color channel. Now we'll be looking at the color channels for texturing later. At the moment we're just featuring on the material channel. So remember that we can change the actual, we can paint the model with RGB. We can also paint it or set a material channel as well. And you can also do both. So you can use, you can change material color and the color of the model in one. So we're just going to use material here. So I'm going to select the material in here. Remember, I'm on the eyes and I'm going to go up to color here and I'm going to go fill object. Now, because I'm on the material button here, it's just going to fill it with the material. So when I click fill object, you're going to see nothing will really change. But watch what happens when I change this to the Mad Cat Wax. Everything will change apart from the eyes that will still keep the toy plastic. So you can actually change the material. So if I go to this one here, it doesn't matter what color I change it to because I filled the eyes with that toy plastic material, it's actually kept it. So I could do the same for the dragon. If I wanted to put the dragon into this gold color, again, I can make sure material is selected and I could go down there to material, fill object, and you're now going to notice it doesn't matter what material I go to, nothing's going to change on the model because it's filled with that gold. So we've set the eyes to toy plastic and we've set the actual dragon itself to this gold color. So how can I reset that? Say I don't want to, I wanted the ability to be able to play around with different colors. So if I want to reset the dragon or the eyes, all I need to do is come into this materials and I go to flat color. And when I'm in flat color, I can go to color, make sure that materials is on here and I'm going to go to color and fill object. Now it's all going to go white, but, but flat color will allow us to change our material back. So we've basically reset it to what we had it before. Okay, and you can do the same with the eyes. If you put the eyes into another material, nothing will change. But if I select the flat color and then I fill it, remember I'm on the eyes and I go to color, I can fill the object with that flat color and you can't see it now because it's just flat. And now if I go back to here, I'm back to where I started. So applying a material to different subtools inside here is really, really important. So I'm going to put the eyes back to a toy plastic and I'm just going to fill it with that material there. Now I can put it back onto Mad Cat Wax and I'm back where I'd started. So that is how you can apply a material to a model, to a subtool, and also how you can reset it back if you need to get it back so you're playing around with different colors. Now remember also I could fill this with something like gold and the eyes would change to gold then. So if I put this to Mad Cat Wax, it's there. So you can see I can change on the fly with this. If I know what I want to go for, I could change this to green metallic, 
go to here, fill that, see, notice the eyes change, and then if I put it to Mad Cat Wax, it will change back. So you can change these as much as you like. Again, if I want to reset it, I go to flat color, go in here, fill the object, it disappears, I go back to here, and once again, I'm back. So I'm gonna put this back into the toy plastic just to finish off, and then we can move forwards. So there we are in the toy plastic, and you can see now. So this is really easy how we can apply material to it. Remember that you're applying it inside here. If I was to pick the MRGB, it would, it would do the material and it would do the color that I've picked in there as well. And we're gonna look at that as well later.